Today, I'm going to share my top three tips to write a sensational Y major supplemental essay, specifically a Y computer science essay. And since I believe the best way to teach is by showing, in this video, we'll take a decent Y major essay and transform it into a spectacular one. The essay we're about to workshop actually got this student into Brown a few years back. In fact, our team found it on a website called EssaysThatWorked.com. But just because it worked doesn't mean it's good. Now, I know this is no longer the Brown prompt, but back in the day they used to ask this question, why are you drawn to the area or areas of study you indicated? 150 words max. Here's what the student wrote. There was a time when I was low and afraid to be with myself. That's when I dived into programming. I always sat with my laptop, but unlike others on Instagram or Snapchat, I was coding. I always kept myself occupied so I wouldn't think about hardships. But as I was solving those little instantiation and stack overflow errors, I realized that any problem in my life had a solution. I could either modify the code and write the wrong or just keep compiling them, producing no output. So life is not all that different. That's why I want to pursue computer science. I know I can work to keep myself happy. Inevitably, what makes me happy is computer science, which is what I want to pursue. To start, I will admit that this essay has got some decent bones to work with. We see an emotional core where the student went through some unnamed hardships. And we also see how this vulnerability actually drove the student's interest in coding, which became an escape from these hardships and taught them that any problem in their life had a solution and that they know they can work to keep themselves happy. That's actually not a bad story arc. Using our Elevate TED essay rubric, I'd rate this a solid 6.5 to 7. Not bad. Still, if we're being real, that opening line leaves much to be desired. What if we use some really clever formatting and juiced up the hook like this? See, one of my favorite tips is to use the content of your essay to shape the style or flow. If X exclamation point equals grief, print smiley face. After my grandmother passed from Alzheimer's my junior year, I found myself coding little snippets to process my grief. Nervous to re-enter the heavy spirals after her passing, I was initially terrified to be alone. But as I watched the red ball I coded bounce between moving paddles, I felt a thrill of excitement. All right, now we're cooking. Next up, let's get this solution going. Here's what the student wrote before. As you can see, the flow is actually a little choppy. It's rather weak. And if you've seen our other videos, you'll know that this second half suffers from a monumental problem. The curse of vagueness. The issue is that 90% of students who've done a little bit of computer science could have written the second half. You know what I mean? So to make this way more unique, we need to focus on the most unique part of the first half, which is the fact that computer science cured this student's grief. That's a really beautiful thread and not something many other students can reference. So of course, we should pursue that avenue a little bit further. Here's what that might look like. Just like adding n equals n plus one can solve an infinite while loop, I can bring my mom a cup of tea when we're lifting each other up as we recover from our grief. For short essays with you know less than 200 words, we really only have room for one or two of these examples or comparisons. But if the word count were higher, I would add two or three more examples to connect the real world with the virtual world. Now, that said, we have to be careful here. We don't wanna to get too carried away and completely forget about the prompt. So to make sure we really answer this question of why are you drawn to the areas of study you indicated, let's add a line like this. While losing my grandmother will always make my heart ache. I'm thankful I found work I can get lost in. Who knew that searching for missing semicolons could be so therapeutic? It turns out that grief and computer science aren't all that different. Every little step counts. If you guys learn anything from this video, it should be to add emotion and humanity into this why major question. I know it can be tough and tricky, but this will truly help you stand out in a sea of applicants whose first instinct is to brag about all the cool coding, research, and STEM projects they've done. Here's the thing though. We can easily see all of your dope achievements in the activities list. The goal of the essay is to literally humanize you and show that you're more than a resume, that you're more than a number. So take some time to consider how do you feel when you study engineering or science? Does it make you feel powerful or courageous? Does it put you at peace and make you feel whole? If so, 
write about that. Before I show you what the new and improved essay would look like in its glorious entirety, it would really mean the world to me if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you would like your Why Major essay professionally edited, visit www.elevated.school slash edit my essay. You can use this discount code YouTube15 to get 15% off your first edit. Last year, tons of students who just had two or three essays reviewed got into their dream school. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, let's put it all together. And here is the new and improved version we came up with in the last five or six minutes. So this upgraded version is closer to an 8 slash 8.5 on our rubric, which if you want access to, I'll attach in the comment section and description below. I genuinely hope you found this video helpful. Here's a present for staying until the end, a breakdance clip, and some more advice on another really important supplemental essay. Check that out here or here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.